Hey guys, it's Monica here. I am back with another video on Monica is Trying, and today I had a shoot with Hissy Fit, which is why my hair looks awesome. They had a stylist come in and do our hair, and I was like, my hair looks really good. I cannot waste it. I have to make a video as soon as I get home. So today I'm gonna do kind of like my go-to makeup look. I do this pretty much every day. It might be a little heavy uh, by some standards, but I don't know, this is how I feel comfortable and I'm gonna do my everyday makeup look for any occasion. I have a clean face, I washed it. I couldn't get all my old lipstick off, it's a little red, but that's fine. So I'm gonna start with some primer. I use uh, Rihanna's Fenty Primer. Um, I like that it's moisturizing. I like that the bottle is heavy, it makes me feel fancy. It makes me feel like I, I don't know, it just makes me feel like I'm like treating myself. And I like the way it smells, it smells really nice. So I just kinda put that everywhere. Okay, so now I do my eyes for my um, eyeshadow. I've been using the Subculture palette from Anastasia Beverly Hills. I know this palette got a lot of crap on the internet, especially from like beauty vloggers. And I totally understand why. Well, because it just shut itself. Oh my God. I totally understand why. Um, there is so much fallout from this palette. It's powdery. The iridescent ones are like weird. They're not that good. But you know what? I was at Sephora and it was on sale and I don't turn down a sale. I use this red all-star color a lot. I use this all over my eye. I do the whole thing. I even bring it up into the crease. I know that like technically you are supposed to use, um, what is it, like three colors on the lid. I don't really ever do that. I mean, if I'm, if I'm feeling really ambitious, I will, but I usually just kind of slather one on there and let my dark skin cover up the mistakes. It's one plus of having kind of dark skin is I feel like I can mess up and it's not super obvious. Then I go um, back in with the Adorn. Adorn. I adorn myself with Adorn. I just put a little bit in the middle. I don't really put it everywhere. Just a little bit in the middle. And like, you know, this might not be the right brush, but I don't know. I don't know. I just. I just put it on my face and it looks fine, so I don't care. <laughs> With That's my makeup go-to. I put it on my face, it looks fine, so I don't care. So for foundation, I've been using the Cover FX foundation in a natural finish, and this is the shade... What shade is this? I don't even know. This is kind of expensive, and I'm trying to switch to something cheaper. I might switch to Fenty just because this is this is pricey, but it matches really well. I don't put on a whole lot. I don't, I don't go too hard. All right, it's a light layer. I really just use it to get rid of some of that, the dark darkness in my skin, the dark spots that I have. I'm not really trying to cover too much up most of the time. And then I use a concealer and I use the Naked Skin one from Urban Decay in the shade Dark Warm because I am dark on the inside and warm on the outside. And again, am I using the right brush? I'm not quite sure. Do I care? No, not really because I just kind of Maybe as these videos progress, I'll start paying more attention to like the rules, the makeup rules. But I mean, kind of the part of the point of this channel is that I just kind of do things the way I know how. And this is how I know how to do this. So I'm gonna stick with it at least for now. Then uh, for some contour, I use this stick from Fenty in the shade Espresso. And these are like multi-purpose sticks, but I use it to contour. I don't do a lot, it's just a smidge. Cool. I 
Okay. Into it? Into it. So I've been using this little tiny blush that I got in an Ipsy bag. Um, it's from Balm Springs. I got this in an Ipsy bag maybe three months ago. I've been using it like every day and I have a lot of different blushes, but for some reason, well, I, tr I, I have to do my makeup in a lot of different places a lot and this thing is so tiny and I don't know, it, it's kind of light. Like this is kind of a light, color I when I first saw it I was like oh I can't wear that but then I tried it and I was like my actually looks pretty good because it's subtle I don't need a you know I don't need a whole lot when I'm going a little more dramatic I'll use a darker blush but for everyday stuff it's pretty nice okay so that's on there and then I put on a little bit of highlighter. And if I'm going like out and I'm like, I wanna be like extra, that's when I use the Fenty uh, highlighter that I have. But when I want it to be a little more muted and a little more like I'm not wearing something, um, I use this highlighter. I use the shade Radiance from um, BH Cosmetics. This is a highlighting palette. I like BH Cosmetics because they're super cheap. So I use the shade Radiance, and I'm just going to use my fingers, and I, just, I don't even do that much, just a little bit. Because this is, you know, this is for the everyday. Every night, on the other hand, that's when it gets pretty wild. And I like to use my fingers because I feel like I just have more control. Like, it's, 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 it's in my court when I'm using my fingers. When I use a brush, I'm like, wait, there's a thing in the way now. Yeah, just a little bit. Then, um, an extra step for me is I reach into my trash can that's right under my table, I grab an old used napkin, and I clean off my fingers. <laughs> I went to Sri Lanka to visit my family like two years ago, and I didn't have an eyeliner with me, so I bought this liquid eyeliner there, and I've been using it ever since. Is that sanitary? I don't know. It's, it's from Revlon. Just Revlon in Sri Lanka. And I like a wing every every day. Wing every day. So I'm gonna do a little one right now. Just a little one, because if I make it too big, my eye will fly away. There we go. Yup. That's the money. Just a little tiny wing for a little tiny girl. I'm not tiny. Got a double dip over here. That's my wing. Now, sometimes I do a little bit of eyeliner just on the outer edge of my lower lid as well. So I'm gonna do that. Um, again, I'm using a sample. It's an Urban Decay pencil, Glide On Eye Pencil. It was a sample. I'm using it, I mean, I can sharpen it, but I've used it pretty much till it's flat. And I just use one of my long talon nails to pull my eye open a little bit and just smudge a little bit on the outer edge. Just a little bit. Yeah, just a little bit. I use this mascara. It's called Perversion from Urban Decay. This is also a sample. Almost everything is a sample, but I love this. When it runs out, I will buy it. The formula is great. It's like fluffy and it goes on so easy. Like I barely have to try to get it on. This mascara has made me like physically enjoy the act of putting on mascara. I even started putting it on my lower lashes. I never used to put it down there because it'd be too annoying, but now I'm like, you know what, I can handle it now. 
because it's so easy. And the lower lashes, because they want to be part of the party. That's nice. That's very nice. And the most important part, the lips. So my default lip shade is a dark red. That's just how I feel the most comfortable. I've been using this Wet n Wild one. Um, it's Mega Last Liquid Catsuit in the shade Goth Topic. This is like... I hardly ever run out of lipsticks, usually because I lose them, but I'm actually running out of this one because I use it like every day. Oh yes, there I am. Gotta get every last drop out of here. I need to buy a new one. All right. And last, and sometimes feels unnecessary until I forget to do it, setting spray. We go to Urban Decay's uh, All Nighter. Fix Spritz. That may have been too much, but you know, dramatic effect. Whew, I think that's dry. And that's it guys, this is my go-to makeup look. This is my default, this is how I feel comfortable, this is my go-to everyday makeup look. I do definitely plan on doing something that are a little more natural and some that are just balls to the walls, like wild colors. So stay tuned for both of those videos. Thank you so much for watching, hit like on this one, subscribe to my channel, please, please Monica is trying. And leave me a comment about your go-to look. Like, what do you do to feel comfortable? Tell me, we can talk about it. And I'm gonna go to a concert now because I cannot waste this hair or this makeup. I'll see you guys soon. Bye.